Did you know it's actually super easy to make Unreal filter different post-processing effects on different actors? First, go into your project settings and look for depth. Then find in the post-processing section, custom depth stencil pass and set it to enable with stencil. Then make a new material. Make sure that the material domain is set to post-processing. Create whatever type of post-processing effect you want. Right here I have a simple black and white effect. And then add in a scene texture node with a custom stencil as the type. We're going to mask that in the red channel. And then put that into the A of an if node. With the B being the channel that we're going to be filtering. If it is less than or greater than, we're going to return zero for that. But if a and B are exactly equal to each other, we're going to be returning one. We then put that into a multiplication node and the other side of that multiplication node is going to need to do something with the depth buffer. So we take in a scene texture for the scene depth, another one for the custom depth, mask both of them in the red channel, and then we subtract the scene depth from the custom depth. If we saturate that, we want minus exit and that's going to go into the other side of this multiplication node which is then able to use as a lerp alpha, where the A will be whatever post-processing will affect the entire world, and then the B will be whatever the object in this quote-unquote channel will look like. In this case, it'll be a unedited, just normal scene texture. Then, going into any object, we can look for depth, and we can enable the custom render depth, and there we can set the stencil value. So if you set this to whatever you have set up in your material, it will filter properly. And you can see now we have this object also fully in color. 